Hello and welcome to another super duper fantastic episode of Pitch Cafe podcast. Today I am so more than proud to host a session with a woman leader. This is Women's History Month. I just came out of a fantastic International Women's Day event at Falcon X B2B Accelerator in Silicon Valley. This is a place where I met so many amazing women and I could not help but invite Geetanjali Paithane to come and attend this podcast session as a guest the reason i have her on the show is she is a hero who has reinvented herself in so many ways her let me call her a shero she is a shero in more than one way not only in terms of the two startups she has rolled out and she's on her third her personal struggles and her story of reinventing herself is a role model to every woman out there So without further ado let's bring on Gitanjali Pathane she is an edtech uh, leader and she her startup is called Intern Mart so uh, let's call on her hi gitanjali how are you thank you so much thank you so much vidya and i appreciate um, the opportunity uh, and i uh, i'm looking forward to this engaging conversation to bring in a change in which ever way we can fantastic so uh, she is the coo of intern mart and let's find out more about what advice she has for women entrepreneurs before that let's start with a few questions just to understand what geetanjali is doing about her work and a little bit of background so geetanjali tell us a little bit about some of the myths you're out to shatter in education in uh, skill development that's a space you are in uh, in intern mart your startup so tell us a little bit about the myths which are out there which are out to bust absolutely the very good question and a very potent question for sure so the most important myth that i feel right now whether it's young high schoolers college students or beyond is the future of work is going to be similar to the past of work so what we have learned the skills we have learned how we have equipped ourselves mm-hmm. what education we've had and the jobs we've had mm-hmm. are going to be kind of the same going forward in the next 20 30 years mm-hmm. now having said that we as humans evolve mm-hmm. uh you know our personalities evolve mm-hmm. the surroundings around us evolve mm-hmm. and so does our work evolve mm-hmm. but have we prepped us ourselves to get uh, in touch with what is the skill set required mm-hmm. to engage in such opportunities that are for the future so i feel the gap or the myth is that whatever we have learned in the past mm-hmm. is going to be applicable and 100% um, applicable basically towards the next generation jobs that are available or even understanding who and what you are wow uh, i didn't think of it like that i know that in world economic forum in davos the discussion is the skills which are rampant are adaptability and ability ability to learn and relearn these are the top skills mm-hmm. uh, and and i believe in your intern mart which is focusing on high school kids mm-hmm. you are out there to achieve that tell us a little bit more why you uh, uh, you know pick the high school segment you could have picked any segment for your Uh, you know mission i know you're a woman with a mission it comes out whenever i talk to you in all of conversations why did you pick high schoolers absolutely see uh, going back to your initial question you know what is the myth of education what is the myth of skills so as we get older as uh, you know companies evolve as work evolves as future of work comes in the picture who are the folks who are going to really feed into as the people who will work for the future mm-hmm. it is of course the college students who are right now who are already partly prepped up mm-hmm. but there are also school uh, you know one step behind are high schoolers who are learning a lot at school mm-hmm. so there's a lot of didactic learning there mm-hmm. but are they ready for the future so we really wanted to start with a clean slate mm-hmm. and to reach out to a population to a segment mm-hmm. which is really going to feed into the future of work technically is going to in a couple of years these high schoolers are going to go into college and eventually get ready for the future mm-hmm. so that's where we wanted to start with a completely clean slate yeah. where these high schoolers would be the segment to target yeah. uh, to reach out yeah. help them figure out themselves yeah. and then eventually help them scale up 
yeah. with their own abilities and then get them ready for the future. So didactic plus you know experiential learning is very critical for these students to um, you know encompass. And in that, I think high schoolers form the best platform to start with. Fantastic. You know, uh, I had visited your uh, intern mart website few years ago before you came on and now it looks uh, so amazing okay. and I'm sure more amazing things are coming. There is one test which pops up as soon as you go on the landing page. Yep. I want to dig in what the test uh, does because you said experiential didactic and you said you let kids figure themselves out. Yep. Is, it, is the test one way they can figure themselves out? <music> That's a very important test, which not just the students should take, but also us adults need to take. Yes. And again, that test also evolves because we are interests evolve. As we grow older, we understand, we see the world around us. We have new interests that develop within us. Yeah. So that test is called a career map test. Mm -hmm. What it does is basically walks you through very simple questions, everyday life questions, mm -hmm. which you would not really otherwise think of, you know, really giving much thought to. But the instantaneous answers you give to those questions mm -hmm. tell us about your natural strengths, mm -hmm. the gaps that you have in your personality, mm -hmm. and uh, what are the skills that you might be right now good at and you might be looking to upskill mm -hmm. eventually. Mm -hmm. So the, that particular test helps you figure out your natural strengths mm -hmm. your, and your gaps as well. Because it's important to, to know yeah. who you are right now and what is it that you're missing. Yeah. So that's the first step of our platform. Mm -hmm. What a great way uh, for someone to look for a job by figuring themselves out. You know, if you're not good at something, doesn't mean there's no job out there for you or, uh, you know, those flashy careers which are not for you are the only careers out there. There are other things you could do. Absolutely. So uh, I myself work with a lot of high schoolers and in your website, you say you help uh, high schoolers figure out their career path. Mm -hmm. Uh, now, the kind of high schoolers I work with, they're doing startups, so that's mm -hmm. one career path right mm -hmm. there. What, is, what do you do to help them figure out their career path? What are some of the offerings at Intern Mart which you Sure, know? absolutely. Mm -hmm. I'd love to talk. Uh, so, the, so our mission statement is career discovery for high school students. Mm -hmm. So the discovery word is an important part because you know that's the first step you find out who you are, what you are and what is missing. Right. So that becomes the first step of the platform. And then what we've done is we've actually broken down the entire process of exploring yourself and upskilling mm -hmm. into three simple steps. One mm -hmm. would be the discover step, which I explained. Mm -hmm. The second would be then understanding the skills that are required in today's workforce. Mm -hmm. Then with micro and um, micro courses, macro and micro courses, mm -hmm upskill yourself, mm -hmm. learn new skills. And you don't have to s definitely go into a certain kind of skills yeah. that everybody is learning. Figure yeah. out who you are and pick up those skills because yeah. these days jobs are in so many verticals. You yes. can you think of an idea and it becomes a job. Yeah. And that's where you know your personality of ability to learn more. So you have yeah. to learn to learn. Yeah. That's the, the process these high school students should learn. So that's where the second step comes in, which yeah. we help them either through mentorship or micro or micro macro and micro courses, learn those skills and then eventually deploy them, which could be either an internship yeah. or it could be an experience. It could be working for a volunteer organization Absolutely. for just putting their information together. Yeah. But it is also, it teaches you so many skills in that whole game. Yeah. So we take them through a very structured platform so we don't want to just throw it at the high schoolers, yeah. but to help them walk the walk because eventually they will become the future of work. Yeah. I have a daughter and mm -hmm. you know, I'm, it's so scary. I'm thinking, what will my daughter do after high school? There are so many careers out there. Sure. Having something like Intern Mart is like, like stepping stone among stumbling boulders, I would say. Like a safe uh, a bet, you know, that these are uh, some of the ways to figure out what my daughter sure. is good at. Sure. Now, uh, with that uh, being said, uh, there are, um, you know, you have micro learning, macro learning. Mm -hmm. uh, are you also bringing in industry connections uh, for these kids to get internship or for them to explore entrepreneurship? Because this, your this campus is Falcon X B two B Accelerator. You're here. You you are here because you get connections for your startup. Are you doing the same thing for the kids in your platform? Absolutely, and that's a very very good question, a very good analogy that you're putting in that as adults, we do get opportunities either at our work or, you know, for example, our company is incubated at Falcon X. We've had amazing mentors within Falcon X 
who have really helped us think clearly, which is the discover part of us. And then second is help us connect with industry leaders and employers and, and just thought process, which helps us expand our business. But the same thing goes for creating opportunities for the students. Mm -hmm. So the discover, so the intern part of our platform where we actually connect them to different industries. So these are actual organizations mm -hmm. where our team goes out and understands what is the need of the organization yes. for employing people. And then we scale it down to a level where a high schooler can really engage with an organization that's existing right now. Mm -hmm. So in the process, we help the student understand that these are certain skills mm -hmm. you should have for a formal job. Mm -hmm. So we are teaching them hard and soft skill on the platform so that for the employer, there's not so much of a friction of engaging on a high schooler. Because yeah. the employer understands future of work lies in these high schoolers. But are they ready to engage with the high schoolers? Because the age group is such volatile yeah. that it's kind of hard to handhold all the time. So that's where we come in to help understand the employer's need. Yeah. That's where the network grows. And then we expose the same network to the students through the internships that we have created on the platform. And that becomes a really nice segue for the students to step into the real world of work. I have a couple of, you know, I want to double click on this because so, I, I work with a high school accelerator and their parents are concerned because this it is a startup ecosystem will my kids finish their degree mm -hmm. will they get sucked into the startup ecosystem that is number one yeah. number two these high schoolers are capable of doing a startup right. you know you throw those concepts at them they can build a startup pitch tech they are mm -hmm. so capable right. so are you incubating high schoolers into startups also uh, we have we have slowly started right now so because so here's the thing the idea is to let the student explore all fields that that might be of interest to them so of course creating an entrepreneurship track would be one aspect of it but yes we are slowly encouraging students to understand what does a business so if they are into creating a business do you really understand what are the different parts of a business right. so these internships that these students get exposed to yeah. they could be in different sectors within a organization yeah. so that it's a full cycle for them at the end of it so yeah. in, in a way we are uh, kind of grooming an entrepreneur within a student yeah. Um, to understand different uh, you know streams that might be of their interest and for example for the you know for to your point of parents getting a little worried about yeah. students <laughs> missing on that's totally that's it's a very real problem I myself went through I have two college kids uh, who went through the same I be as a parent went through the same struggle it's scary no it, it, it it's funny how our program has really we have spoken to so many parents and students so the concern the parents have had is, of course, there is so much to do, which way to go for my student. So our platform helps on that. But at the same time, the age group that we have targeted is 15 through 18. Mm -hmm. That's a classic age when the student wants to explore mm -hmm. on him by himself or yeah. herself. Yeah. Parents are the last space they want to go and engage on. Yeah. They want this parents, but you know they don't want to really uh, engage on the resources the parents are providing. So that's the age when they will probably listen to somebody from an outside set of eyes Gosh. where, right? So then this advice, <laughs> this genius advice can only come from moms. <laughs> I have been there and I've gone through this process and that's where the reason why I really joined Intern Mart was, you know, my previous avatar, if you may, was completely different. I was a corporate world and it was very, very satisfying, no denying that. But I realized when I you know, met my other co-founder and I understood that the problem really is at the core of what I went through as a parent. Mm -hmm. So I, I would be a classic example of somebody who could really understand the problem or the mission yeah. that Intermart is on as a student and as a parent. Yeah. So that worked out well for me and for the company. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, I, I work with a lot of HR tech entrepreneurs as well and I see how uh, valuable your startup can be there, you know, for high schoolers and for connecting them with good employment opportunities and groom them and, uh, you know, give them a direction. So, you know, with that, let's move on to a slightly different uh, uh, question. Let's look at your startup. Where are you uh, in terms of funding, in terms of your workforce? Mm -hmm. in terms of you know growth stage i know you picked this up uh, and you pivot mm -hmm. and you br brought in a lot of strength into the startup the startup was uh, uh, you know kind of uh, uh, waning away and you brought it back to life so so hats off to that again so uh, where is it uh, the startup right now what are you guys doing sure. mm -hmm. uh, 
absolutely. So we are at the proof of concept stage right now. Mm -hmm. um, we have had we, we have the technology platform ready completely. The website is fully engaging for the students. We have taken data from the past two years of strong cohort of students we've had. We've collected enough data to, um, you know, with ammunition is what we call it. It's the data that we have. We've, uh, you know, run enough algorithms with the data that we have to make sure that, you know, the mission that we are bringing out to students has it been proven? So we are trying to, uh, you know, uh, extend to two different kinds of segments. One segment of high schoolers would be like high achieving, you know, uh, top of the class high school students who know what they want, whose parents can give them the direction and the resources. So that's one segment of students we target. And then the other is the underserved students who are same age, you know, same age group basically as the other high schoolers but they are from immigrant population or underserved students who don't have the resources. They might be at school, but they don't really have the vision for the future. So how do we get our thought process into their everyday life? Mm -hmm. That's the other segment we are reaching out. And also another important part of that second segment is uh, women in technology. So women in STEM and women in STEAM. Mm -hmm. So it's not just technology, but yeah. arts and technology and everything together. So how do we encourage women, uh, young women, young ladies, yeah. Um, to actually engage, to, to, to break their barrier and go out. Sometimes, you know, women themselves are their own barriers. So we have to encourage that in young girls. So let's look at this. Are you working only with the U.S., uh, you know, the women population in the U.S. or in India or both? We are expanding. We are starting here for sure. Mm -hmm. And we are, of course, creating programs that could expand eventually globally. That's our vision is make this available, you know, globally whether it is for either of the segments doesn't matter because one one segment would be of course students here are highly driven but there are such students everywhere yeah. and then there are other population underserved right. so that is what we, you know we are expanding and from for example what have been our not struggles but you know our uh, our, our journey so far has been we are looking for partners mm -hmm. partners would be school administration schools and employers where we can engage with a lot of opportunities and students yeah. to create a such a big platform form available for such students so yeah. that is one reach and then the second is of course we're looking for funding which is basically right now we have um, friends and family funding uh, mm -hmm. you know uh, which has brought us up to now and towards the end of the year we will be looking for um, you know little aggressive seed funding as well mm -hmm. but that will be a quantum of that will be dependent upon how is, how is the revenue how are the how many employers we have um, you know onboarded and also how many students have engaged with us right. so the gap is what of reaching our mission to millions and millions of students is what is the vision so we start here create uh, you know these four programs for employers engage with schools and then eventually take it global that's kind of the journey we are looking for yeah, amazing. So you are working with the high achiever kids, the underserved ki kids, mm -hmm. and you're empowering women. Those are great ways to, you know, kick off, I think, from where I stand. Mm -hmm. So with that, let's move on to, uh, you know, your journey as a woman entrepreneur. You know, what did you learn? Um, what were your challenges and what were your success stories? Absolutely. That's a very good So success story is one major success story. I guess you... I would talk about Intern Mart itself for, to start with. You know, it was started by two high school boys um, who were high achieving kids, excellent in their academics. They had a, you know, they, they were trying to resolve this issue of like, okay, what do I do next? Yeah. So what are the opportunities? So they created, they were the seed, you know, they sowed the seed of Intern Mart, if I may. Uh, they started it, they created, a, they, you know, cre uh, reached out to a lot of schools, a lot of students gathered a lot of data but they realized it's important to pivot at some point in time mm -hmm. to make sure technology is what drives the organization drives the company so then we came into the ecosystem of these two young boys um, and me and my co-founder we're both women um, we come from completely different background but we realized that you know with the background we come from we could add a lot of strength to the the, the company that was already started mm -hmm. so the right there as a woman entrepreneur i realized that you know there's a lot of value i can add into the company to grow mm -hmm. uh, and of course my co-founder dipali singh um, she is the ceo of the company she comes with a very progressive background from india in this space mm -hmm. so she understands how technology can va add value to this mm -hmm. so two women joined together um, became part of the team and then now we are the co-founders and um, that's the journey so far 
Fantastic. So, uh, wishing you uh, good luck there. But sure. before I let you go, mm-hmm. I want to ask you uh, one question. Sure. What message do you have for uh, women out there? If I may bring it up, I know you are uh, a cancer survivor, mm-hmm. and it didn't bother you from taking on this challenge. You just went about it, and I really appreciate your yeah. fiery spirit. And to all those women out there who. hold themselves back who think less of themselves and generally entrepreneurs who give up so soon mm-hmm. many of my friends women friends gave up because they were facing diversity and bias issues in the vc ecosystem mm-hmm. Pe- uh, people are not ready to fund them because they're women what kind of message do you have for this uh, community you know thank you so much i know i i i i understand you know that i did have a little bit of struggle with my cancer um, you know find but i did not let that stop me at all because here's the thing i always feel women of anybody a human stops himself or herself we are only limiting ourselves mm-hmm. so for women out there i would really say tap into your strengths tap into your strengths first of course understand your gaps also but at the same time do not give up on what could be so your potential will be stopped only if you take a step back yeah. you know there are a lot of um, uh, stepping stone hurdles you will find that might push you back mm-hmm. but if you have the force and you have the integrity or the grit inside yeah. to choose a problem or choose we are nurturers we brought life in this world yeah. so we know how to take some you know life from very small stage to bringing it to an adults who will become very impactful wow. so we have to recognize that part that we have that strength inherent in us mm-hmm. and we have team our families are there to support mm-hmm. so it's important to tap into yourself understand your strengths and then b- broaden that scope mm-hmm. become the nurturer So for me this was you know of course cancer was a fine but I did not let that stop me because the 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 show must go on you have to perform your best you you will really feel good within if you work up to your potential yeah. and in the in the same the same line I would say it's important to create a tribe which will become yours yeah. so it's not just you the fight is not just yours you yeah. will have hurdles yeah. figure out ways where you can break those barriers and you know reach out take help give help create your own tribe don't let don't limit yourself uh, at any at any step oh okay. this is probably one of the most fantastic messages i've uh, received from an, a fellow a women entrepreneur uh, i totally agree we are the ones who hold ourselves back we are the ones who stop our realities from happening <laughs> sure, so let's push us forward so w- what kind of tribe are you, uh, are you thinking about when you say create your tribe what is this dream tribe of women what do what are they like other than the fact that they don't hold themselves back right no absolutely so one of the things i said was you know it's important to find out what is your strength but also find out what is your gap in your personality yeah. see i am as a person you know there are 10 things that might be good about me but there are 10 11 things that are bad about me yeah. so how do i use my network of folks where i can absorb skills that are not good in me right now or i don't have right now and then create a tribe where every single piece of that tribe is a strength that adds to me and my growth and then i add to their growth yeah. now this tribe could be you know women like in my case uh, my co-founder is a woman as well mm-hmm. and the other two fo- co-founders are young men mm-hmm. so we have a combination on the, on the platform right there but at the same time you could be a completely women's team or you could be a combination it's important to take an understanding of what are your positives and then if you do have some skills that you don't know yeah. uh, absolutely make a team or a tribe that has that positivity in it so learn from people around you and give your skills to other people so it's important to give and take you cannot just be an absorbing person like and you cannot be a sponge one day you have to let go you have to help others grow as well yeah. and that high is impeccable that yes. high that you get because yeah. you your productivity grows up yeah. because you have helped somebody yeah. so that's why and that's why a very important part of intern march mission is of course helping those students who are exactly like any who are like my kids yeah. very privileged my kids were privileged but but are there are other kids who are the same age who might not have the opportunity so i am you know we are making as a team making sure that the underserved population does get its impact from our platform 
and and, and that's where our reach has been and that we'll strive for it as well so that's where it's at it's uh, written all of you progress and you know look forward and go ahead it's just uh, you know resonating in your personality so with that uh, i like to uh, very reluctantly bring this podcast to conclusion and we'd love to have you back we'll come back and check progress and you know if there's any uh, help you need please reach out to us on uh, uh, this platform pitch cafe podcast and thank you so much for this wonderful hour you spent with me thank you thank you, thank you so much thank you for the opportunity and you are creating the tribe you absolutely <laughs> are you absolutely are uh, you know it it's important for us to learn absorb but at the same time we need platform like yourself uh, where we get an opportunity to hear others it's important to keep growing is the is the key word So thank you so much for the opportunity.